First of all, I would like to say thank you for the opportunity to present our research at this conference with my colleague, Hajnal Kasinek Csütörtaki. And uh, in the first part of this presentation, uh, I would like to introduce the most basic and uh, important rules and information of the special legal regime of the Czech Republic. And the uh, starting uh, point is that the regulation of the special legal order and emergency powers in the Czech Republic can be found solely at a constitutional level. Uh, at this uh, point, it is uh, very important to emphasize that the Czech constitutional system consists of the constitution and several special acts called the constitutional acts. And uh, according to the provisions of the Constitution, uh, we can see that the constitutional acts are an integral part of the Czech constitutional system. And uh, apart from a state of war, which is uh, one of the specific type of uh, special legal order in the Czech Republic, the Czech constitutional system initially uh, did not contain provisions about this topic, about the, about the special legal order and emergency uh, powers. However, the Constitutional Act on State Security, as adopted in 1998, uh, filled this gap in the constitutional regulation. And uh, we see uh, that this act, the Constitutional Act on State Security, provides an exhaustive list of and a comprehensive regulation for special legal regime uh, in the Czech Republic. Uh, however, we must uh, see that uh, while, the, uh, uh, while the general rules of special legal order can be found at the constitutional uh, system, but the peacetime rules for preparing for the special legal order and, uh, and uh, uh, rules for crisis management are laid down in the, in the regular acts, in the normal acts. And uh, after all, uh, the next uh, important question uh, what are the types of special legal order in the Czech Republic? And uh, in the Czech legal system, the specific types of special legal order includes the state of emergency, condition of threat to the state, and the state of war. And uh, firstly, the state of emergency. Uh, the state of emergency, according to the Constitutional Act on State uh, Security, the government uh, may declare this category in cases of natural catastrophe, ecological or industrial accidents, uh, and any other uh, dangers that threaten life, health, property, uh, domestic order, or security to a significant extent. Uh, a state of emergency may be uh, ordered uh, for the entire state or for certain parts of the country, and this category may be ordered by the government However, the Chamber of Deputies of the Parliament uh, must be immediately informed, which may uh, annul the decision of the government. A state of emergency may last for a maximum of 30 uh, days and may be extended with the prior consent of the Chamber of Deputies. However, the government or the Chamber of Deputies may decide to annul a state of emergency uh, before, before the expiration of the specified period. The second category, condition of threat to the state. Um, according to the Constitutional Act on State Security, uh, if the state sovereignty, territorial integrity, or democratic foundations are directly threatened, the parliament on the government's proposal may declare a condition of threat to the state. A uh, very important uh, very important uh, rules about this category that the condition of threat to the state can only be ordered on the motion of the government uh, with absolute majority of the votes in the Chamber of Deputies and the Senate of the Parliament. And this category, similar to the first one, similar to a, a state of emergency, uh, can be ordered for the entire country or for the certain parts of the country. And the final note about this category, that uh, the body entitled to terminate the condition of threat to the state will be the parliament. And the last, the third category, the state of war. Uh, the rules uh, concerning uh, state of war were laid down both in the constitution and in the constitutional act in state uh, security. According to the relevant provisions, the parliament uh, decides on the declaration 
uh, of a state of war if the Czech Republic is attacked or if such is necessary for the fulfillment of its international treaty obligation uh, regarding collective self-defense against aggression. However, uh, neither the Constitution nor the Constitutional Act on State Security uh, determines who or which body can initiate the procedure for the declaration of state of war. And the, under the provisions of the Constitutional Act on State Security, uh, a state of war can only be ordered for the entire country. And uh, from the wording of the Constitution, uh, we can deduce the ultima ratio nature of state of war, since it can only be ordered if less intensive measures, such as declaring a state of emergency or a condition of threat to the state, are not appropriate or not sufficient to achieve the desired goal. And uh, summarize, to, to summarize, uh, we can say that the general rules of the special legal uh, order in the Czech Republic can be found uh, only in the Constitution and the, in the Constitutional Act on State Security. And the Czech system of special legal order uh, ident identifies three specific categories, the state of emergency, condition of threat to the state, and the state of war. And uh, for each category, the legislation adequately and precisely records the occurrence of conditions and threats that may lead to one of the specific types of the special legal order. And uh, in addition, the category of, uh, category of a state of danger also appears in the, in the child legal system, which can be considered as the fourth category of special legal order in the Czech Republic. This category, uh, under the Act on Crisis Management, may be suitable for dealing with a crisis arising from an extraordinary event. And uh, we can see this category state of danger. Uh, uh, during a state of danger, the special rights are granted to the state and the local, uh, local government body uh, to deal with the extraordinary uh, situation. Therefore, we can say that this category state of danger has a very, uh, very close connection with the, with the classical type of, types of special legal order. The next uh, important uh, question, what are the common rules for the, for the spe uh, specific types of special legal order? Uh, firstly, uh, our, our, res our research shows the dominance of, uh, of the legislative powers power, since a condition of threat to the state or a state of war may be ordered by the parliament, while for a state of emergency, the parliament may subsequently <laughs> annul the decision of the government. The following uh, very uh, important uh, finding is that the government is the authorized governing body during a state of emergency and the uh, condition of threat to the state. However, the National Security Council of the Czech Republic also appears as a consultative and uh, decision uh, preparing body. The Constitutional Act on State Security uh, also regulates the, the functioning uh, of the Security Council and this body is a permanent working group of the government and consists of the Prime Minister of the Czech Republic and ministers by appointed, uh, appointed by the government. The task of the Security Council uh, is to uh, prepare all the proposals specified by the government that are necessary for the protection of the security of the state. And uh, at this point, it is uh, important to emphasize uh, that the government may set up a central crisis staff to deal with the crisis situation as a part of the uh, National Security Council. And the central crisis staff is uh, founded on the prime minister's uh, decision for the primary task of submitting proposals for the National uh, Security Council and, of course, supporting the government to resolve crisis. Uh, thus, uh, thus we, can, uh, we can see that uh, during a state of emergency uh, and the condition of threat to the state, the government is empowered to deliver measures to resolve the crisis. And uh, as for a state of war, neither the Constitution nor the Constitutional Act on State Security 
uh, has any provisions about the body entitled to govern. And uh, finally, another topic about this uh, topic about the emergency powers. The role of the president of the Czech Republic is neutral, and the president, uh, president's power very, very limited in the Czech Constitution. And uh, this is the uh, that was the first part of this presentation. Uh, I would like to thank you for your kind attention, and please welcome my colleague Hajnal Kosinek Csütörtöki. Dear David, thank you very much for giving me the floor. Uh, dear colleagues, in the second part of uh, our presentation, uh, I'm going to speak about the restriction of fundamental rights during a special legal regime and uh, going to present some uh, practical cases of uh, promulgation of a special legal regime in the country. Uh, so, uh, under the Czech Constitution, uh, fundamental rights and freedoms are protected by the judiciary, thus guaranteeing the highest level of uh, protection of fund fundamental rights and uh, freedoms in the uh, country. The Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedoms, uh, which is part of the Czech constitutional order, is a key source of law on this matter, uh, as it um, sets out the rules uh, applicable to the or restrictions on, uh, on um, fundamental rights and uh, freedoms. The Charter declares uh, that uh, obligations can only be imposed by a form of an act with respect for fundamental rights and freedoms. Moreover, restrictions may only take place in accordance with the Charter, must preserve their essential elements and must not be used for purposes other than those uh, stipulated in the relevant act. The Constitutional Act on State Security is very concise uh, regarding uh, the restriction of fundamental rights, uh, as it uh, only lays down uh, provisions in uh, relation to, a, to a, a state of emergency. According to the uh, Constitutional Act, at the time of uh, declaring a state of emergency, the government is obliged to determine the fundamental rights to be restricted and uh, the type or extent uh, of the restrictions. One of the most important uh, sources of law uh, regarding the topic is the uh, Act on Crisis Management. Uh, first of all, it, it uh, must be emphasized that uh, the legislation uh, explicitly regulates only uh, restrictive measures that can be imposed during a state of emergency or a condition of threat to the state. Uh, the second uh, chapter of uh, this act uh, regulates uh, the powers of the government and uh, other bodies, uh, such as ministries of interior, health, transport, industry and trade, the municipalities, cities, local governments, and the Czech National Bank. Also, the, this act uh, uh, regulates the powers of the Security Council and the powers of the central uh, crisis staff. Um, given the limitations of the present uh, presentations, presentation, only the most important measures uh, that can be ordered by the government are going to be uh, presented. So, uh, during a state of emergency and the condition of threat to the state, uh, the following uh, fundamental rights uh, may be limited for the time and uh, to the extent uh, necessary. Uh, these are listed uh, on this slide. So, the right to personal integrity, property rights, right of use of natural and legal persons, right to free movement and housing, right of assembly, right to conduct a business, and right to strike. Uh, the Act on uh, Crisis Management exhaustively lists the measures uh, that may be ordered during a state of emergency and the condition of threat to the state. Uh, the majority of uh, these measures uh, that can be ordered during the uh, state of emergency and the uh, condition of threat to the state are identical. 
however, the Act emphasizes that uh, in addition to the measures listed in the listed in uh, connection with the uh, state of emergency, uh, um, the government may restrict the entry of persons to the country who have not obtained check, uh, citizenship, possession of firearms and ammunition, control the trade of the explosive nuclear materials, biologi biological materials, and so on. As regards uh, to the practical cases of promulgation of a special legal regime. In the modern day in history of the Czech Republic, we can find uh, uh, practical examples of, uh, of a state of emergency, while a condition of threat to the state and the state of war have not been declared till date. Uh, however, uh, within the scope of these examples, we uh, distinguish between cases where a state of emergency was assigned to the entire territory of the country and the cases where it was ordered to specific parts of the, of the state. So in the, in the following cases, a uh, state of emergency was ordered to a specific part of the, states, uh, of the state. And as you can see, uh, it is evident from uh, these cases that um, a state of emergency was declared during uh, natural uh, disasters, which endangered people's uh, lives, um, integrity and uh, security. For the first, first time in the history of the modern day in Czech Republic, a uh, state of emergency was introduced for the whole territory uh, in 2020 in uh, connection with the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, as it can be seen, the state of emergency was declared several times. Uh, since closing of the manuscript, the Czech uh, government has uh, declared a state of emergency on the uh, 4th of uh, March uh, this year uh, until uh, 3rd of June uh, due to a large uh, large uh, numbers, number of uh, refugees that uh, Czechia was receiving. And also certain uh, public debates arose uh, in this regard. Uh, some relevant cases came uh, to light, focusing on the alleged unconstitutional measures of the government, but uh, we can find, on, find, find only uh, rejected cases. For example, uh, two years ago, a Czech uh, lawyer filed a constitutional complaint with the Czech Constitutional Court. Uh, his, he based uh, his uh, complaint on the, on the opinion, opi opinion that uh, the declaration of a state of emergency was not in line with the constitutional <laughs> order and, uh, and uh, did, thus, did not uh, respect the fundamental human rights requirements. And as a result, uh, he demanded uh, the annulment of these measures, but uh, the Constitutional Court rejected the complaint for uh, several uh, reasons. Uh, following the de decision of the Constitutional Court, uh, he appealed to the European Court of Human Rights. During the second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Czech Constitutional Court rejected two more constitutional complaints uh, in November uh, 2020 on, uh, on, on formal uh, grounds regarding imposing a state of emergency and, uh, and uh, restrictive measures. <coughs> and to sum up our, our uh, presentation, so in the Czech Republic, the general rules for the emer emergency powers can be found only at the constitutional level, in the constitution and in the constitutional act on, act on uh, sa state security. And as uh, David said, uh, the Czech system of emergency powers names three special regimes, namely the state of emergency, condition of uh, threat to the state and the state of war. Uh, however, the immediate state uh, of emergency may be considered as a special accelerated form of, uh, of a state of emergency. Uh, in our opinion, the, the Czech legal framework <coughs> of the emergency powers uh, presents a rather transparent and, uh, and uh, clear regulation. And the Czech uh, legislation clearly sets out the different kinds of uh, threats 
that can be a reason for ordering a special legal regime, leaving no doubt about which type uh, of the special legal regime should be ordered in case of an occurrence of an extraordinary situation. <coughs> and thank you very much for your kind attention.